Today, we talk about... Wait, are kids really into porn in high school? Uh, it's we porn, and video games. But I feel like porn, because there's not a taboo about porn anymore. Brought to you by Fear. Well, isn't. us growing up, there was always a taboo about porn, and like, mostly, like, when I was in high school, I had dial-up, so I do look like pictures. Uh-huh. I had to wait 20 minutes to see a set of tits. Okay. Or a huge dick. <laughs> and then, but nowadays, like, it's instant access like, from <laughs> whenever, the, whenever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah, phone. do the kids talk about porn a lot? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, me and my friends are actually doing NoFap. Because, like, we, we read about, a lot about it. What? Uh, I uh, literally said this in our last podcast, how the younger generation is being super conservative nowadays and trying to, like, live After him, boys, just, in the comment just, section, just, get them. I literally <laughs> fucking said that in one of our podcasts. I'm just saying, I was like, the younger generation. For you. Yeah, it is. for your brain. It desensitizes you. It, I fucking based well, on everything. What? It destroys the, it destroys the mind-to-body connection. Yes. Who, yep. said, like, who told so, you So, like, once you watch some crazy shit and you're used to watching this crazy shit, then, like... Uh, yeah, like, so watching, I think the watching portion could be destructive yeah. to some extent, but yeah, what yeah. what makes, oh, is that the angle you're approaching yeah. it from? It's so, can yeah. you fap without it? Uh, can I? No. Not I you specifically, but it. like, in this no fap movement. like in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> in this no fap movement, is, are you boys in general, like, they, being like, alright, we're only jerking off, but without why would porn? They? Why would they? Because you can do it without porn. I mean, then you should. Sounds like a loser. I think. <laughs> no, I, no, no, dude. I, I literally said this. I said the younger generation, the kids in high school now, are trying to all cut off from porn because they see it. As you did, the, did I that have. We porn. literally talked about this. Yeah, but I said degeneracy in general. People are trying to like become younger more kids conservative. Are conservative. You, you said that. And trying to like yeah control themselves. And I think that is because like uh, their parents and stuff are like. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Porn is you know, great. Yeah, watch, watch a uh, six dudes bang this chick. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, sure like, every, this normal. yeah I'm sure every parent has. They don't has say that, that, but like people we were have to like up for ourselves. Yeah, that has nothing to do with your parents. What are you talking about? No, no, because it's been allowed for like the younger generation and then the younger it's generation. Allowed. What I talk about in the podcast, they always rebel against their parents. That's why you have conservatism, liberalism. Keep I don't switching. think this has anything to do with parents, but uh, no, I think it does because what looks because kids always want to rebel against their parents. Yeah. So the parents are. But, so are if you, the parents. If the parents are bringing kids up to be like, no, like, uh, don't watch porn. No, no. If the parents, no, but that's not what they're doing. They're like, yeah, watch porn. Like, uh, you know, every. Your parents don't, yeah, every I love that face. Watch I mean, that's porn. My mom. But, I mean, but I mean, they're 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 very set. Parents nowadays, in general, are depends more culture, sexual. Yeah. Depends on the culture. You know, parents that have told their kids to watch not porn. watch porn, but they'll be like, they'll talk about it in a different way. They won't be like, don't watch porn. Don't have sex before you're married. They won't do it like that. They'll just be more like, uh, yeah, you know, these are natural feelings, blah, blah, blah. And I'm saying that that's why kids now, like why you're doing nofap, is because kids are like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to be like this. Because people always rebel against their parents. Uh, that and I'm fearful of the the, Health? the, the path that it'll lead it'll to. It'll lead to. Yeah, it's just like over indulgence. Yeah, our generation, our generation, because we're a generation separated from him. I know you're 48, so I'm a generation but no, our generation is very much about like uh, quick fixes, do drugs. But we were raised on like rap music, like a very different kind of culture. That's multiple different That's generations, though. I, yeah, you guys are too, but you guys are rebelling against it. You can see it in the voting trends of like hip hop is bigger than it's ever been. Yeah, yeah hip hop is different now. Hip hop is different. Yeah, I would yeah, exactly. Hip hop is different now. Now because yeah, hip hop now. I'm saying like the the hip hop that of like uh, the 2000s. Where it was like, yo, fuck bitches, get money, do coke yeah, yeah, off our tits. Yeah. Now it's like, yo, think about like income inequality, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's mu- no, but it is. That it's was much always different. there. There's always been messages. There's in been pop. some, but yeah. like their hits were always like, yo, fuck bitches, get money. Yeah, but to be fair, music is constantly evolving. So I'm not talking about only music. I'm talking about culture and the way kids are raised. Well, that's always constantly evolving too. You guys can't keep up with my brain. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but you, you know what I'm saying? Money shit. Rest in peace. Yeah. In the yeah, and the, dude, the fact that he's talking about doing no fab at 17, dude, 17 me, <laughs> I couldn't keep my hands off it. Wait, so do you guys keep each other in check, like Seinfeld, or? Uh, I mean, respectively, yeah, respectively, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's like, do you guys live stream it, or my, my do you have a link? <laughs> we brag about our days sometimes. My friend, my friend is like 80 days straight. Yeah, so you, that's Whoa. what I'm saying, so you guys like. 80 fucking days he hasn't come? That's insane. His wet dreams must be. I think my furthest has been like five days in my Jesus life. Jesus Christ. Okay. See, that's what I don't want to do. Well, I'm also married, so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but no, dude, five, if, I, if I go for five days, I get fucking really pissy. Try six. More of this. And then next week, try seven. 
and then the <laughs> after try eight, and I keep pushing the ball. Listen through. to the kid. He's like, put diapers on. <laughs> 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 All right, let's cut it off there, man. This has been fruitful. Uh, <laughs> it's been horny. Yeah, how long has this been? Oh, well, pretty much an hour. Uh, yeah, any final thoughts, my man? Or does he um, want to push anything? That's what I'm saying. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Weird Sundays, and follow my friend Gupui. Um, buy his clothes, and yeah. yeah. All right, I'll link the ish in the description. Uh, cool. Final thoughts. Same guy. <laughs> Good to see everybody again. I can't wait to see the comments. Oh, my 17 year old has sex with a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, right. That, that sounds super helpful. How many bodies does your kid have? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. My 16 year old just had an abortion. This was offensive. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys lasting this long. Get it? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>